Let's try another problem. We have a box of ITMASM right up here, and it's initially in contact with a relaxed spring. It's stretched out. It has a spring constant of K. We then release the box. So what happens? Well, it's going to compress the spring, and it'll wind up over here, and it compresses it a distance delta X before it starts to rebound. In terms of mg, k, and theta, what is the value of this delta x? How much does it compress the spring before the spring bounces it back? Before the box is released, it only possesses gravitational potential energy, and that's at this point up here. When the spring is fully compressed, right before it might rebound a little bit, the box is at rest and the system has gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. So let's look at what we have. Here's our equation. Initially it has gravitational potential energy and the final position, which is what we're looking for, has elastic and gravitational potential energy. So we substitute in our values and what are we trying to solve for? Delta x, so we want to go ahead and isolate that. So we bring 1 half k delta x squared on the right side we note that h0 minus h is just delta h. It's just the difference in height here, because that's what we're interested in, the change in potential energy. Multiply through by 2, divide by k, and take the square root. And here is our delta x, 2 over k, mg sine theta. That's as far down as this box will go before the spring pushes back up that way. 